my bm interview was completely a different atmosphere they read through my cv their first question is you are over qualified why are you coming to xlri so bits plani has msc chemistry plus civil so it, they look at okay you have already done your masters why are you again coming back so these kind of this is not something which i expected and i startled during after my immediately after my cat so i went to my grandma's house and she said something which was which resonated with me and i could relate to it i'm translating it for you guys it means yeah, don't sure. ever hold a loose rope and if you do ho- hold on a loose rope hold on to it tight don't give up make sure you you climb till the end hello everyone Today we have with us Raghu Charan. He has cracked the ZAT exam and got a call from Exelare Jamshedpur, and he also successfully converted it. He has pursued B Tech from Bits Pilani. He is a working professional currently, working with PwC. Today he is with us to share his ZAT preparation journey and also how he cracked the Exelare interview. All right. Hello, Raghu. Welcome to Cracko Interview Series. First of all, uh, congratulations on converting Exelare Jamshedpur. Uh, very much. Thank you. Can you tell us uh, when did you start your uh, all this, the whole journey? When did you start preparing for SAT and uh, how did you prepare for the exam? Yeah, I'm excited to share my journey and details with all of you guys because I was at the similar position two years ago where I just came out of Bits Pilani and I had uh, I did not know what to do. So I'm a civil engineering. Okay. I done civil engineering and I I was not un- able to understand what I want to do in the future. But I knew I had to do something in management. so i cracked my interviews at pwc and joined pwc and pwc gave me an understanding of what i'm getting into like the ex- job experience gave me an understanding okay now i surely want to do an mba and that is when i decided to start all right so firstly uh, let us discuss about your zat preparation journey i mean so can you tell us uh, how did you prepare for the exam and how did you handle the each section especially the dm section so as everyone knows zat is a little different from cat wherein you have a new dm section which is not there in cat and also there is no uh, time bounds for each section so the major important thing which i took was the every year pattern paper patterns might change in everything so my strategy was always whenever i enter to when i whenever i enter a test i start the first section irrespective of which section comes first and i was always good at english so i always used to start with english so english being my strong section i used to give 30 minutes to english and the remaining time i used to go to the quant the reason i used to go to the quant is i okay. i used to find the some questions which are very easy to solve and finish them first the remaining time come back to dm solve dm because dm is a section where you need uh, it'll take a lot of energy from you you need to keep thinking read the question twice and thrice too so dm section and then go back at the end to the quant section so that was the basic strategy and this strategy can vary from person to person and i would recommend everyone to take as many mocks as possible mock analysis will give you an understanding of what best fits you right starting my journey like in 2020 when i first the first time i wrote cat i did not even attempt any other any other uh, college exams and others but this time i did not do the mistake okay. this time when i gone to uh, when i filled the forms i filled each and every college because you never know what is in hand for you and coming to zat what have re- the one of the best resources i can suggest anyone is crack use daily targets because they keep you have every day sometimes you do not have motivation to do uh, the kick start the journey of your preparation but having a habit of solving at least a question or two uh, for 15 minutes of each section will make sure that you you are in continuous touch with the subjects which you have studied it also benchmarks you with other students and then you see okay this is a subject which i have studied before and now i am able to solve it so in this way it always keeps you in touch with the current uh, your standing position and that would that have helped me immensely throughout my journey and i would recommend everyone to uh, go ahead and try out crack your daily tests because they are genuinely good right thank you in i have written my cat and i have realized that i could not do as well as i could though i got a 99 okay. percentile in cat this year i realized that it was i i could do a lot better and i was a little demotivated and i felt that i was lacking something and here is where i again had to come up and do my zat preparation again 
all right so uh, so after your cat didn't go as expected you said you uh, you could score higher you could score better you said you were demotivated right so how did you come out of that and prepared for the prepared well for zat exam during after my immediately after my cat so i went to my grandma's house and during okay. this she said something which was which resonated with me and i could relate to it i'm translating it for you guys it means yeah, don't sure. ever hold a loose rope and if you do ho- hold on a loose rope hold on to it tight don't give up make sure you you climb till the end so i was in that position i thought i'll take up my mba journey and i'm not going to leave it at the between i have to make sure that i climb till the end and then see what i get through so that was a day i realized that i have to sit down i have to prepare for that and then what i realized is cat was too hectic for me because i had to read everything read the syllabus but this time in the one month or one one like less than one month or more than one mm-hmm. week cat what i did was i stopped taking time test i started doing questions or seeing watching videos on youtube where i just see the question i think how i how i need to solve the question i used to see the solution that's it so this made me the more and more i've got feedback okay my think thought process correct the more and more my confidence went up and by the uh, and when i wrote one or two i i still wrote one or two uh, mocks but i realized that my confidence has grown immensely and with the same confidence i attempted zat and i got a 99.54 percentile and here i am wow so that's wonderful now let's move on to your interview process so can you tell us uh, when did you get the call from excel or jamshedpur and when did you start preparing for your interviews yeah. i was get getting random calls some of them from i am shillong sp jain okay. and other calls and between these calls i i open a message which reads you have been shortlisted for uh, bm jamshedpur and hrm jamshedpur interviews and i was very thrilled i realized that this is a place where i cannot lose out and he, and i started doing my journey my journey of uh, zat mba preparation or the interview preparation was very direct i made sure that to read what all what all the past experiences are and the only thing i could get away from those experiences is all the people who have converted have made sure that they list at least five points the best things in their life so okay. what i started doing is i I realized that not all interviews go according to how you plan them to be, but I made sure that for any type of interview that they ask me, I need to put that these five points are the big things in my life, and I'm going to tell you irrespective if you're not asking me the question. So because okay. sometimes you have to steer the dire- steer it towards your direction. Yeah, right. And the second thing is, the interviews are all interviews are looking for not people who say, but people who represent. So what I realized is I was interested in marketing, and I still am. So instead of saying I'm interested in marketing, I I used to always give them examples. Some of the examples included things like we have we replace our earphones every uh, every year or two years, and we don't care about them. We just throw them around, even if they're costly, even if they're iPods, iPads. But a single sardine in my mom's cupboard occupies that space for so many years. it shows what is the perception in people's minds and that is where marketing comes in examples like these may make the okay. interviewer think that you are actually interested and i would say do that all the time and adding to this there is one last thing your achievements and everything okay. you need to put forward that your achievements but how do you put forward is more important instead of instead of just saying i have achieved uh, i have won a tournament or i have won a uh, national championship you need to specify how many people are participating i won among 100 people so these numerical quotations will make your profile more interesting these are some of the tips right. which i can give excellent uh, now let us discuss about your personal interview i think there's only a personal interview for xlri right so how was it on your interview day and uh, how did you tackle the questions and how did it go yeah before starting with my interview day i would just like to add a small information that is yeah, sure. it is advisable that if you if you prefer a bm program in xlri and you have a call from hrm please put your hrm calls before your bm interview because that will give you a touch okay. and feel of how the interview is going to be because sometimes you are just not ready for the intensity which the professors bring so it is advised if you prefer hrm give your interview of bm first and if you prefer bm give your interview of hrm first 
and coming to the d day as i did i gave my first hrm interview and i realized that okay. the professors are genuinely genuinely read through your cv they take time and there are three three the panel of three people and in these three people the there's always one person who's always going to speak negative they are trying to build up pressure and they will be asking you questions even though they are convinced themselves they will still be asking you questions so this is one of the things which happened in my interview during which i was asked about the the recent uh, acquisition of uh, future group and uh, how they fired a lot of people and how hr uh, as a hr is it justified to fire those min- uh, so many people overnight so these kind of questions there are no right answers to it so when my answer was it is not justified they should at least be given one week's notice and may be fired and uh, then you you get constant pushback saying but it's not a decision of yours it's a decision of a ceo what would you do how can you make it easier so these kind of questions are just trying to check if you're ethical empathetic and you are composed even during the interview when you're put under pressure so that is one of the things and moving on to my bm interview my bm interview was completely a different atmosphere they read through my cv their first question is you are over qualified why are you coming to xlri i okay. being so bits plani has msc chemistry plus civil so they look at okay you have already done your masters why are you again coming back so these kind of this is not something which i expected and i startled and my interview started with a very rocky place where they were constantly pushing back saying okay. you have brilliant ideas I, i also had my thesis and other things so when they asked me about being over qualified i tried to justify it but my cv al- also contained my thesis my thesis in which i suggested okay. materials for uh, construction and other things and these things showed them that i was interested in my subject which i studied before so the, they were pushing me towards why do you want to do an mba this should be a place right. where you solve solidify your strategy and say them i am interested in mba because it might be for three reasons once you want a career switch second is you want a career growth or third is because you genuinely are interested towards one of the subjects or you want a research oriented person so for me it was a second thing i wanted career growth because i'm already at pwc so i ma- structured my answers in a similar way and ga- gave them the answers you'll still get pushed back the way you handle push back is by having a proper uh, framework for your answers the framework for your answers follows by what is the question they're asking the situation what is after you analyze what is the situation that you're going to tell them your answer in second thing is what did you do to it and what is the okay. result of it these three things need to be very structured so once you understand that this is this framework in which you're going to answer it will become easier for to an- answer the questions and also uh, convince them right. so these were some of the d day tips and luckily on my uh, my interview was on uh, 14th of march and my birthday was okay. on 15th okay and i myself have forgotten that it was my birthday the next day so the okay. interviewers were constantly asking me tomorrow is a big day tomorrow is a big day i never realized throughout the interview what is big day tomorrow at the end he said do you at least celebrate your birthday and uh, <laughs> i laughingly said birthday uh, no sir i don't celebrate uh, then he said evidently and i hope uh, but if you come to xlri we surely will celebrate it together so i knew that my interview went well because there was a positive ending to the whole interview process wow yes right perfect so uh, thank you actually you gave some very wonderful tips you actually clearly specified about how to prepare for the interview in a very well structured manner now uh, can you tell us what other calls do you have uh, uh, other b school calls did you receive so i was really shocked when i saw the number of calls i got i got all my cap calls i got i am shilong okay. i got md i got niti i got sp jain all of these calls in my bag and except sp jain i converted all of them what i realized is first thing is exam is in your hand and after the exam only interview is in the hand so you should just be focused and never give up in between the journey because resilience will make sure that you reach a place where you want to so i luckily i never gave up and i'm here at xlri and i'm really happy for that wonderful all right now finally what is that uh, advice that you would like to give the future 
aspirants or those who are targeting XLRA? So the one advice I would give is be resilient, irrespective of uh, how hard it is. You have to be resilient. I used to come back at eight o'clock after my job, and I used to make sure that okay. every day from nine to twelve I used to study. Consistency is a key to make sure that you pass any exam. So make sure that you're consistent. You don't give up anywhere in the between, and then keep pushing forward. Don't expect for results. If you will surely convert. That is the only advice I can give anyone. Brilliant. Thanks a lot, Raghu. You gave some very valuable advice. You also gave us some very useful tips on how to crack the interviews, especially the XLRA, uh, BM, and HRM interview. Thank you so much for that, and all the very best for your journey, uh, for your MBA journey at Excel. Thank you, everyone, and I wish to see more more of you coming to the campus, and all the best. Brilliant. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot.